kids, gather around the fire and let me tell you a story about the beginnings of BMX and Radical Rick. In my day, every single kid rode a bicycle to get everywhere. We didn't have Ubers, we didn't have mom and dads that drove us everywhere, we rode our bikes. All the adventures happened on a bike. And so the logical extension when kids started riding dirt trails and BMX was to draw what made me excited, and that was adventures on my bike. And that's how Radical Rick happened. Radical Rick is really every kid. You know that moment when you see something and you imagine how cool it would be to try to just try to figure out a way to conquer that thing? The difference is Radical Rick has a, he was gifted and cursed with an overproductive rad gland. And with this rad gland, it's insatiable. Anything that looks like it's possible and should be hit will be hit. The slogan, stay rad, don't be a wimp, started out as punk rock. Like, it was just a challenge. Today, I think it matters because there's just so many things that are distracting us from really living and living, you know, pushing boundaries. I'd rather just sit on my phone and scroll. Radical Rick reminds us that you gotta keep pushing. You have to keep challenging because otherwise you're just gonna be an old curmudgeon and and you're gonna waste away. You know, a few years earlier, kids were riding stingrays, you know, and all of a sudden, guys were making custom frames, manufacturing started really happening, picking up pace. They were advertising in the magazines, and BMX became a thing, it, and racing became a thing. This is way before even freestyle, anything like that. And that's one of the cool things about journeying Radical Rick when I was drawing it is, you know, it was 13 years where the sport went from its infancy to absolutely blowing up. When we rode bikes, we weren't limited to just doing one thing. We were doing all kinds of things. And when freestyle came on the, the scene, um, it was a logical extension. Of course Radical Rick would do that. Radical Rick evolved with the times. We're fortunate during that period to see the complete arc, starting with dirt tracks, to giant jumps, to pool riding, to freestyle flatland, to mega events. That happened over the course of those 13 years. It's Radical Rick re reflected the entire history of the sport, kind of as we know it today. Cool thing about Radical Rick too, now that I think about it, is he never aged. It's like a video game character. So. Even though the, the sport grew up and a lot of the riders aged out, Radical Rick was always that adrenaline addicted kid who just had to get after it. And as a result, he could always stay relevant. Uh, he was always anticipating another opportunity to get rad. And so if anything changed in the sport, Radical Rick had to embrace it. It's kind of beautiful that way, <laughs> you know? I'll die, I'll be dead, Rick will still be 15 and a half with a learner's permit. The beauty about working at the magazine is I got to see what was going on in the sport. We didn't have YouTube, we didn't have any way to actually see this unless you were seeing the guys boots on the ground doing the, doing the tricks. Once I saw what was happening, especially like in the freestyle movement, um, every trick was new. Every month, there'd be something cool happening that no one had ever seen before. John Carr would bring out his photographs, and we'd see it. We'd we'd, we'd see the progression photos. We, it was like the beginnings of rock and roll. Every time you heard something, it was new. And the same thing with the BMX world. We'd never ever seen anybody ride a ramp before. It was always dirt tricks, right? And then all of a sudden, they're building ramps, half pipes. They get bigger and bigger. Teams are riding and they're pushing each other. Seeing that kind of competition, Radical Rick couldn't be one-upped. So <laughs> he had to do, if someone pulled off a flip like Rad the movie, Radical Rick did two flips. It's just the beauty of pencils and paper and, and ink and imagination. When I was doing the book and talking to people about Radical Rick, a lot of writers said, uh, 
they saw stuff Radical Rick did and it gave them ideas. I would love to see the tricks of Radical Rick um, reenacted at some point in time. Be so cool to set out a button. That's another project for you. Some of my favorite memories from doing the Radical Rick comic strip was when I was able to pull in real riders. If it was Mike King racing or it was Eddie in the pool or Bob Haro. Um, to kind of drop those guys in, I knew that I was respecting them and also um, I knew they'd notice and I admired what they did. Life is short. But then I think also the crazy stuff in Radical Rick's world, the crazy stuff is, is always fun. When Scuzzer Switchblade blew up this mountain using the attack lax cannon against him, creating an avalanche, Radical Rick had to snowboard the, the avalanche in order to survive. Or when Radical Rick, uh, Butch Cartilage challenges him to a surfing competition, and the only way that Radical Rick can one-up him is to actually ride a shark. That's not jumping the shark, that's a notch above jumping the shark, that's riding a shark. Probably one of the greatest moments was when Radical Rick, the last episode, 147 or something, in 1993, Radical Rick was able to uh, save an entire BMX combination race of freestyle BMX dirt jumping and everything, the granddaddy of them all. All the riders in BMX history would have been wiped out because Ming Inc., their adversaries, had planted this this dirty mustard bomb that was gonna blow up and destroy everything we know about bicycling. And Radical Rick heroically grabbed the grabbed the the bomb, dropped off a radio tower, hit a giant ramp, and he explodes in the air as Bonnie Brainstorm and MX Mug look up. And the last frame is is we don't know what happened to Radical Rick. I know. I think I know. But um, yeah, that was the last frame of Radical Rick. He blows up. Can't take it. You know, so people are wondering, how do you feel about that bike collaboration? You know, Har went to great lengths to, to, to build a bike that is, would be appropriate. What? What'd you say? Oh, I forget, Radical Rick never talks.